Well, welcome everyone. My name is Nate Hoover, and I lead product management and marketing for GLG Boom Lifts. And I'm thrilled to be able to introduce to you today the 670 SJ Self Leveling Boom Lift Solution. Above us in the platform is our demo operator, but more notably, the senior chief engineer who led the team to develop this innovative solution, Milan Klein. Hello everybody, I'm very excited to be here to introduce the self-leveling technology which will revolutionize the way you work at Hyde. In 2017, we had a concept machine here at Con Expo. During that period of time, we asked many of you for your input to understand what the needs of the market were. We heard from all of you since then and until now that the ability to have a machine that does not require positioning and repositioning saves time, increases productivity, and ultimately contributes to the bottom line. There were two pain points that we have heard. The first is repositioning the machine over and over again is unacceptable. In addition to that, trying to find a level surface in a sea of uneven terrain on job sites or in urban environments is also very difficult. We also learned that cribbing was not a preferred method. Creating a flat spot is also time consuming and expensive. The second pain point we heard was taking a larger machine and having it on site just in case you needed something to be positioned off of the job site in order to reach way over materials and people and assets to get the job done. Oftentimes that would require a superintendent to be able to approve that location, and which again is more time wasted. The solution you see here before you, the 670SJ self-leveling, puts all that into the past and eliminates those pain. To demonstrate the first benefit of this machine, I will drive it up on this obstacle course to a position that demonstrates a five degree incline. So at this position, the machine is positioned at the limits of the new ANSI 9220 standards. That means any machine without the self-leveling technology in the future will not allow you to raise the boom above transport position. Functionality will be cut off. For those of you in the audience that have operated a standard machine today on the market, you'll be familiar with the fact that as driven in a standard configuration with an oscillating axle, the shifting of that machine automatically causes you in the operating platform to have to also shift your body to maintain balance, to continue to keep yourself aware of your surroundings, operation of the machine, and safety in the center of that platform. Also, as Milan mentioned, with ANSI, ANSI 9220 coming, the ability to be able to, to ascend on this angle is absolutely no longer possible, meaning there is no elevation, there is no job at hike. To demonstrate how it will feel like with a standard boom lift to go over this kind of an obstacle course, I will drive over to the next point. As Milan draws over, you will notice that the platform shifts from left to right and up and down. You will also notice that the boom itself and the counterweight are now at a significant incline. Again, as those of you who have operated would know, material and tools are now shifting around, maybe even dropping out of the platform. This is a less ideal solution. Milan, are you ready to show them what self-leveling looks like? Oh, yes. So as I raise the boom, boom lift will stop once I reach the limits of transport position and the chassis leveling will begin. So now that the chassis is level, boom functions will resume and I can go up to height. What you can see is the platform is now level, and Milan, as the operator, is able to focus on operating the machine. In addition to that, we now have a completely level counterweight and boom section. To demonstrate how it looks like to go over this obstacle course in self-loving mode, I will drive back now at height. So here it goes. Now self-leveling chassis is fully engaged. Milan, how's it feel operating at height like that? It feels great up here. I don't have to brace myself constantly. I'm much more stable. I'm confident to drive at height. As you can see, this is able to compensate for uneven ground. As he moves across this obstacle, it's worth noting that at that height, he's now able to move from one location on the job site to another location on the job site without ever having to come down. 
In addition to that, he doesn't have to reposition to find that level location. Where he stops, he's level, up to 10 degree incline. To demonstrate what this machine can really do, I will go forward and then back again with this machine. Now I'll pause the commentary for just a second so you guys can really take this in. But just pay attention to the bottom of that boom section as well as the counterweight and also the platform and watch Milan as he goes. It's level at all times. So as we finish up the demonstration here, recognizing at this point of time, this machine is the solution for an uneven job site up to 10 degrees elevation. It drives for a better operator experience, permits productivity at height, and all the mainly takes away a lot of the pain points that exist today. Now you may ask, well what about moving this machine from one location to another on a trailer? Well as the lawn comes down, the engineering team has also thought about a solution in order to address just that. It's called shipping mode. So once the boom is back into the transport position, meaning about a horizontal position, I can transfer this machine into the shipping mode by a simple push of the button. And now shipping mode has begun. What you will notice is that each of those cylinders are now simultaneously retracting. As they do that, the chassis begins to lower and so does the center of gravity of the entire machine. What you observe is when it finally gets into a fully retracted position, that there's about a half inch gap between the plate at the bottom of the chassis and the ground level. And why is this important? It's important because it now allows Milan to move forward or backwards, steer left or right, to get that precision placement on the trailer, maximizing the load that that trailer can hold.